Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Hamid Rezo Sadapas. Today, I am happy to present our recent academic paper, Modernizing Geospatial Services and Investigation into Modern OGC API Implementation and Comparative Analysis with Traditional Standard in Web Application. You know, the, the goal of this uh, academic paper was the pot uh, exploring the potential for enhancing the web application through the comparative analysis of the integration of modern and traditional geospatial technologies based on their performance, maybe the modern PyGeo API and the traditional one, GeoServer. And it came up some research question to us, what can be the best approach to design a modern web uh, application architecture? And how does the implementation of the modern OGC API standards, such as PyGeo API, compare with the traditional geospatial methods within the web application? Here, this is the, our uh, data sets. Uh, you see we, we are uh, based in Germany and uh, two cities, two municipalities, Castro and Force, and you see the feature uh, classes here, area, land parcel, building, roads, water body. This is the Castro and this is the Force. And here, this is the, uh, the methodology of our job. The first of, uh, first of all, the uh, prototype system architecture design, we are using the three tier client, server, and data. And uh, here, this is the prototype and system architecture. Uh, our database is the PostgreSQL, PostGIS, and server, this time uh, Joe server, and as a client, we are using the uh, open layers. And here for the OGC API, we are just replacing the server, uh, Joe server, and OGC API, uh, PyGeo API here. And uh, our database, PostgreSQL, and our input data are the Alkis data, which are the uh, official cadastral data in Germany, uh, which uh, even uh, contains the house coordinate. And we have some uh, field survey. We are capturing the data in the company. Yes, and we are using the Norgis Alkis import, which is the open source software to importing the uh, XML data into, the, into our database, PostgreSQL database and uh, at the end service and architecture implementation for the Joe service, the traditional service standard WFS, WMS, and modern service uh, standard OGC API, PyGeo API. And at the end, we will uh, you know, compare uh, the functionality contrast, data format, installation process, performance, and usability. And here, this is the... Uh, Short video, as you can see, we just created from these two data set the, the, the application, web application from the PyGeo API and the Joe server. And you can see how is the, for example, how is the zoom in, zoom out in the PyGeo API, and how we can, you know, switch on, switch off the layers and uh, working, for example, how, how it's a pop-up is working, how the feature will be highlighted by click, and how is the rendering time, and uh, the, uh, we will talk about the you know, some, uh, you know, uh, comparison, for example, how we can, you know, measure in the PyGeo API the result, for example, how uh, at the distance, how we can, you know, measure the area in this way, and even we have the possibility to do some, uh, you know, kind of, you know, analysis. Uh, here, for example, yes, we would like to show, uh, to, to find, for example, the uh, parcel which are greater than or bigger than, for example, 5,000 square meter, and it will be applied and will be highlighted in the system, and attribute and table will be visible in the web application. Here, this is the comparative analysis. Let's be a little fast. You know, you see, uh, if you have the five, uh, for example, 5,000 feature, the average speed is around uh, two seconds, and if we increase it to, to uh, 25,000, the average speed is around eight uh, seconds. And here, this is the rendering speed of the Joe server, the WFS, you see the result. And here, the rendering speed of the Joe server, WFS, and you know, this is the millisecond, and it, which is the really fast. And this is a very important uh, chart, the, the comparison between the Joe server and the PyGeo API, and because you know, we have a different feature like a polygon point line, and here, we, in showcase, we are using the uh, polygon feature, and you see the difference between the PyGeo API and 
uh, Geo server. And uh, another important thing for us is the, yeah, uh, in the rendering time for the different data format. As you see, the post GIS is the best one uh, for both, and the Geo package is the somehow the worst in this case. And how, what is the, uh, our solution, for example, to increase the you know, rendering speed of the PyGeo API in this way, you know, using the vector tiles in this way. And as you see in the uh, table, we are using in this uh, project GeoJSON, and it's around eight, sec uh, eight seconds. And if we are just changing to the vector tiles, it will be even less than one second. And using the WGS84 and request from dedicated map tile server or pre-rendered tile in local host. And here is just usability experience. For example, a difference in the speed of the loading and map rendering. For example, everybody preferred to use the Joe server. Recommended app is somehow it's a PyGeo API. It's not bad, but uh, smoother panning, zoom in, zoom out, it's somehow similar. And it was just a, you know, a user friendly, faster preview in the Geo server, PyGeo API, diverse installation option and PostGIS and shapefile show better rendering times in both application and vast, uh, faster rendering speed in PyGeo API can be achieved by vector tiles. Thank you very much and enjoy the phosphorus.